Unfortunately, she did not have a navy dip. Hobo bags are really, really in right now. I have my long shop. That's cute. Lots of cheese, obviously. I'm just like about to lose it. Today was supposed to be the hottest day of the heat wave. My god if you are not a pumpkin creamer fan but you want like some fall goodness this like what is this like apple crumble apple something crumble creamer from Khalifa farms so good it tastes like fall but again like I said without like the pumpkin mm. don't get me wrong I love pumpkin I'm a pumpkin girl but sometimes you just want a crisp apple flavor for fall and this is just chef's kiss I'm a huge fan of the apple caramel macchiato from Starbucks and this is reminiscent of it I wouldn't say like it's like a dupe or anything but it gives the same vibe you know but anyways welcome to today's vlog I took a little bit of time off this week we just had like some family stuff going on we are back today today I just like really felt like I wanted to get into the fall feels so I made myself a little fall coffee and then we're gonna go get nails done no more summer nails we're gonna do some fall nails today which is like about as much fall as I can do today because we are in the middle of a heat wave in California. Granted, I am by the beach, so I am luckily cooler than the rest of California. A lot of them are like in the triple digits, which I know if you live in Arizona and Nevada, I'm so sorry about using the word heat wave, but us Californians right now are suffering and we feel for you. <laughs> but here it's gonna, I think today's gonna be the hottest day. It's gonna get up to like almost 95 or something like that, which for again, the beach area that is very very hot so yeah that's as much fall as I can do is gonna be my nails and then I actually am gonna make my chili that I make every year I'm just like ready for it I want to have it I'm gonna make it with turkey this year I think I usually do it with Beyond Meat but Vons was having a sale on ground turkey so I grabbed some of that so we'll do it like actually with ground turkey today and also since I'm trying to eat high protein anyways there's just gonna be more protein in the turkey so yeah just kind of starting to dip our toes into fall even though the weather is very much still screaming summer Today is Friday, so it's gonna be a weird crossover of fall and summer because I do still want to hit up the beach Maybe after my nails I'm gonna get like these dark fall nails on and then just like go to the beach It's just it's just that weird time of the year, but yeah anyways just wanted to say hi and welcome to the vlog I'm just hanging out for a little bit before my nail appointment I'm gonna watch some YouTube have my breakfast, have a little bit of a slow morning, and then get productive from there. Also too, did wanna note earlier, yes you did see, I went and I bought ice today. It's so hot, I like, I literally stood there when I realized I didn't have ice and I was like, do I make a hot coffee? And I was like, absolutely not. Not with the weather today. I took Leo to the park at like 8.30 a.m. and it was already hot then and I was like, no way in hell, it's definitely worth it for me to like walk to the liquor store and buy a bag of ice to carry home. I was like, a hot coffee is absolutely not happening. Oh no, I forgot to grab a battery. Oh well, hopefully you guys will last for a little bit. But I'm on my way to the nail salon. I was trying to decide what I wanted to do for fall nails. I've always wanted to do gray nails, but I'm, I don't know, I'm just not feeling it quite yet. I saw like a girl do like a forest slash like deep for olive green and I thought that that was absolutely beautiful thought of that but I think I'm not gonna go with either of those I've been and I talked about this when I got my long shot bag which by the way I got her right here you guys are gonna go in here that's why she's empty but I'm having a navy moment I love all things navy right now so I'm thinking navy nails today uh, I actually had an old photo of my nail tags nail color book and I picked out like three or four blues that I want to take a look at that like all look navy, but I, I wanted to like see them in person. Oh gosh, whoops, okay. But I wanted to see them in person. So I'm gonna look through those, 
pick a shade, and we're gonna do navy for the first set of ball nails. Unfortunately, she did not have a navy dip, so I had to switch gears. I thought about getting the green that I talked about, but I saw this color and I was like, oh, this would be a really cute fall transition color. So I got this like, I'm on focus on the nails. This like chocolatey with a purple undertone color. Just like pretty, it kind of matches my top, which is, hello, focus, come on. What are we doing here? Oh my God, okay. It kind of matches my top, which is kind of nice, but yeah, just pivoted, switched gears. I love how it came out. I think it's just like neutral fall color just to, you know, get things started. But okay, now I'm gonna go lay out on the beach because nothing screams fall nails like a tanning session at the beach. I got the goods to make the chili. Got everything right here. Well, it's chili goods and then also other goods as well. But white onion, cilantro. That is just for feta eggs. <laughs> this is just a refill. Just some olive oil spray for cooking. Kidney beans. I get the low sodium just to have a little bit more control over the sodium. I thought I got two. I did. Okay. I'd love to put roasted corn in this chili. So grab some of that. Liquid eggs, this is for my scrambled eggs in the morning. It's just faster to work with liquid eggs. I also got a pack of my Power Crunch bars, the mint ones. I throw these in the freezer and they're so good. They're just like a high protein, very filling dessert. Got sardines for Leo, he's been out. And then I got three cans of green beans for Leo because he is so odd. I get the ones with no salt, so it's just green beans and water in here, but he really loves green beans. Like most of the time if I put it in his dinner, it's like the first thing he goes for. It's so weird. There's my other kidney beans, tomatoes, and this one in particular, this brand, Cento, I will get it even when it's on sale. It's so good for the chili. I also got some cornbread mix to make some cornbread with, obviously, to go with it. I forgot about Fritos. Dang it. You know what? It's fine because I don't need that many Fritos. So I'm just going to hop over to the liquor store and get like the little individual bags because I just like top my chili off with a little bit of Fritos. Not a lot. So I don't need a whole family size or anything. And then I also got some cheddar for Leo. So that is everything. Usually I also get the Tillamook, like the farm style shredded cheddar, but we have a big block of Tillamook cheddar from Costco. So I'm just going to grate that instead. Just there's no need to also purchase a bag of the shredded, you know? Okay, I'm gonna put this all away. And then I got a couple of fall goodies in that I wasn't expecting to come this early. So even though it's so hot, I can't wear one of the items that I'm super excited about yet. I still wanna unbox them and show them to you guys and try them on and everything. So one of these items has been on back order and it got like pushed back twice, but it finally arrived. And it turned out it was great that it didn't come any earlier since we have a heat wave anyways. Like when was I gonna wear it? But this set is from Free People. And it just looked so cozy. I saw so many girls wearing it and I was like, you don't need it. But I just was like, no, <laughs> like that is just perfection for like work from home days or cozy fall or winter nights in. But it's this like orange and blue sweater. So cute, just oversized and comfy. And then it has the matching knit shorts. Adorable. I'll try this on after I unbox everything. I got, yeah, I got a medium because it already says it was oversized and sometimes I even size up even when it says oversized, but this was like one of those sets where I just, I wanted to make sure that it didn't go too oversized because this is like the type where I feel like it looks good relaxed, but not like super baggy, if that makes any sense. So hopefully I like the way that size fits on me. And then I was not expecting this today. This I think, is it? Yep. Okay, so this is a purse that I ordered for fall. So my go-tos for this fall are gonna be the long chomp bag and then this bag. This is from Amazon. Hobo bags are really, really in right now. Everybody's carrying around a nice like 
good size large hobo bag it's easy it's nice we can throw all of our things in it everything will fit it's casual it's cute all of that stuff so i really liked i think it's the coach brooklyn bag that hobo bag and it's so cute but i'm just not gonna spend the money on that and also i really for some reason wanted a suede green one so i went on amazon and i found this one i love that it comes with a dust bag first off but this was under $20. It says it was going to take until, I think, September 20th to get here. And it absolutely did not. It came here so much faster. Oh my god, this is perfect. <gasps> She's so cute. So I think it's pulling brown in the camera. But in real life, it's very, very much like an army dark olive green, that kind of thing. So cute. The suede on it is really nice. It's a faux suede. Let me make that clear. But it, it, it does feel really nice. It's very soft. You know, like you can see... And then I like the fact that the bottom of the bag actually has like a stiff bottom so that it'll retain its shape. And then this also comes with a little pouch if you want to like organize some smaller things. And then it has the little magnetic clasp. It's so cute. Let's see here. Oh, sling it over the shoulder. Casual, so perfect for the weekend. Like if I'm running errands, running around, that kind of stuff. I love it. And then, oh, I should point out the strap itself is like a faux leather. So you're not going to get suede here, which is nice because if you're sweaty and stuff and you've got suede, it's going to make the suede all gross. So they thought that through. But yeah, under $20. So freaking cute. Also, yes, my laundry is still up. I'm going to actually spend the night kind of like tidying the living room and deep cleaning a few places. I've been actually like randomly doing these like little mini deep cleans over the last couple days i like went through the whole house and i dusted all the cobwebs and everything that had been building up except for one spot in the back here there's a daddy long legs i don't know what it is terrified of most spiders daddy long legs i don't mind them i'll leave them alone they're fine but yeah i let him keep his web up there because it's also fly season so i think he's eating the flies so i'm like you can stay but yeah i got like all of our cobwebs even like these cobwebs above my head like this tall ceiling right here We've never been able to get the cobwebs. I mean, there's like, I don't know if you guys can actually see, but there's some like up in like the very, very top corner over there. I don't even know what I'm shooting at <laughs> right now, but I mean, you can barely see it. Those are the only cobwebs I couldn't reach, but before that whole thing was filled with cobwebs. I also went through the bedroom, both bathrooms, the kitchen, everything. Dusted all the cobwebs out of there. I did a little bit of like de-shedding on the stairs, but I want to do more. But today for sure, I definitely want to like tidy the living room. That's my big goal today. And then also fluff and style the couch because this weekend I want to start decorating for fall. I'm ready. I've been looking at fall things. I'm going to do one more fall home decor run at, at home and special guest star coming with me for that. I'm sure you guys already know. So yeah, I'm going to do one more sweep at, at home and then it's going to look like fall in here even though outside feels like Satan's asshole. So uh, that is the plan. But yeah, she's uh, she's ready for fall. Oh, I need to try on the set for you guys. One second. Okay, I have the set on. I feel like I'm going to die. Let me take the hat off because I think it's throwing me off right now. Okay, she's super cute. I actually really like this. I wish... I guess I can scooch the shorts down so that you can actually see that they're shorts. Okay, yeah, that's so cute. Like this is super comfy, adorable. This is like casual girl fall. This is like, I've been lounging at home with all my fall candles on, but I just need to like run out to the grocery store and pick up some ingredients for my chili kind of a vibe. But if I were to style this up, wow, I actually, I forgot that I cleaned up, but I would do cowboy boots, Maybe, oh, here, we got one element. Maybe my long chomp. That's cute. Or, I mean, oh, I have cowboy boots. Here we go, see? These are the shorter ones, but you get, you guys get the vibe. You get the gist. Like, like this foot. Sir, I am modeling. <laughs> okay, but anyways, like this vibe, cute, right? Like, California girl fall. Love it. The only gripe I have with it is like, look at these shorts. When I had them actually pulled all the way up, like look at how high they go, right underneath my boob. It's a lot, but that's why I was like, oh, I can like scooch these down if I want the shorts to show a little bit more, which is what I probably do. But yeah, I'm okay now that Leo's gone. Yeah, loving this, this look here for like a casual fall girl day out. Hi, coming back on because I just realized I have another package that came in. I forgot to grab the mail on the way in. And this one is really, really special. I ordered this a few weeks ago. It's a customized tennis bracelet from Bobble Bar. And I've been looking for bracelets to stack on my Dior bracelet, the chain one. And I thought a tennis bracelet would be really, really cute with it. So 
I decided to get one customized. Okay, the jewels on it are smaller than I thought. I, for some reason in my head they were bigger and I was like, wait, is that gonna look really gaudy? But like I said, this is a custom tennis bracelet. Oh my God, this is so cute. So this is special because he is if it would focus there we go it spells out spl which is spark pip and leo so it's got all the kids initials on it i originally wanted to do them in order so pip spart leo but that spelled out psl which most people know as pumpkin spice latte and i was like no that is far too basic sounding so i was like you know what big boy's gonna go first spart will go first perfect i wanted this to fit pretty flush to my wrist i didn't want there to be a ton of room because the dior bracelet is like so loose but that's what it looks like oh my god it's so cute and then we got an initial for everyone adorable I got my chili recipe, favorite chili recipe. I will put a link in the description below. It's a turkey chili recipe for those of us who don't eat ground beef or anything. Yes, it does have beans. I know technically real chili doesn't have beans, but you know what? The recipe says chili, so we're calling it chili. But anyway, I'm making my chili recipe. I will have it linked down below. I mean, I kind of showed you guys a step-by-step, -step, but you know, I didn't talk it through or anything. Right now, I'm just waiting for it to come to a boil so that I can then reduce it to a simmer and let it simmer for about 30 minutes. And then probably in the last like five, 10 minutes, I'm gonna add in this fire roasted corn. I'd love to add corn to this recipe. But right now, I'm gonna make the cornbread. See, I need to stop cooking in my PJs. Like this is, well, this is water. I think this might be oil. I don't know, it could be water, it could go away. Anyways, like I said, I'm gonna make the cornbread. This one is just add water. It's not like the greatest cornbread in the world, but it'll do. When it comes to this, I'm not like that picky. Like the, the chili's the star of the show, the cornbread's just like a nice to have. So let's go ahead and mix this up. I'm gonna put the top on the chili. We are at a boil. There we go. And then reduce it down to a simmer. So this cornbread, super freaking easy. Then three fourths cup water, so that's two fourths cup and three. Whisk it all together. It says until there are no lumps, so getting it all really mixed up. And then transferring. And once this preheats, I think it goes in the oven. It says 23 to 28 minutes. So I've determined these are not water, so I'm gonna have to change my PJs. But I'm gonna make myself a cornstarch slurry just to thicken up this chili just a little bit because I like a nice thick chili. So I'm gonna do, I think it's a one, you know, different sites say different things. I'm gonna go with about a one one ratio. So I thought was like one and a half tablespoons of cornstarch. Okay, so one and a little bit extra and then just stir it up. And this is just gonna thicken up the chili a bit. So here we are. It's actually got a pretty decent thickness, but like I said, I do like a nice, super thick chili. I'm gonna pour in the slurry and bring this back up to a rolling boil. And at the same time, I might as well go ahead and add in the corn. And then we're gonna stir all this. We're gonna let that simmer another 10-ish minutes. Cornbread is done, I think, I hope. Let me check. <laughs> Yes, it's done. I'm just gonna let it cool for a little bit and then I think chili is done. Oh my gosh. Like, get over here and see this. She is stunning. I'm gonna let everything rest for just a few minutes and then we will assemble and plate and all of that good stuff. Time to assemble. Looks so 
good raw onions first just because I actually want them to cook a little bit. And then, like I said, I love Fritos on my chili. Lots of cheese, obviously, and cilantro. We got a perfect bowl of chili, cornbread, which I need a plate for, but I'm so excited about this. I don't even need to do a taste test. I've made this every single fall at least once every year on the vlogs and literally you guys the best turkey chili recipe ever it's amazing try it trust me you're gonna love it and it's so simple and easy okay <laughs> we're gonna call these pjs done because what is wrong with me oh my gosh like i have to stop cooking in my pjs this is just i'm driving myself crazy got the ground nice and clear so i'm gonna run dj yeedy i just need to block off this section first oh we have one of his shoes. The hell? Leo! I literally just want to take that bully stick upstairs. I'm not going to sleep, but transferring him and me upstairs because with the ACs up there, but <laughs> I put it on the stairs to take it up there and he just literally brought it back down. <laughs> Changed and I have the AC blasting because it's so hot. I have Leo working on a bully stick. Oh my God, I'm just like about to lose it. Today was supposed to be the hottest day of the heat wave and it turned out it's not. It's gonna get even hotter. I think Sunday is gonna be the hottest. It's just, ugh, this is miserable. I don't know how you guys in the desert do it. Kudos to you, but I'm roasting right now. Michelle and I originally had plans to do brunch tomorrow and we had our reservations for the outdoor patio. And I texted her today, I'm like, I moved our reservations indoor, just FYI, and she's like, good thinking, so. Luckily, they still had like some indoor spots available, but oh my god, I can't imagine if like tomorrow is gonna be even hotter us having brunch outside. Like, that's absolutely not gonna happen. But, anyways, like I said, I do have brunch in the morning, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start turning in for the night. Sorry if this vlog was a little bit of a shorter one. Like I said, there's just a lot going on this week and everything, but I still definitely wanted to film the nails, the chili, all of that stuff. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys for the next one.